I shot this video yesterday. Right now it's 50 degrees, but I didn't have the uh, wind brakes in place. I want to show one of the simplest ways in the world to put up an easy wind brake is just a couple of these metal fence posts here. They're cheap, they're like five bucks a piece. And then this black saran wrap, which is what we have wrapping the back hives with. So I got a complete wind brake, really cheap to do. Makes a big difference. That's one of Kim Floton's biggest thing that he would talk about. Put a wind brake up, even if you're just piling straw. Now mind you, I'm in Minnesota. So if you're in Tennessee or something like that, it's probably not an issue. But we have the bees flying for the last time today. They're just going along. The funny thing is, I swear to goodness that that was a weak hive. No, that must have been the weak one. Okay. And then the only one that isn't flying is this one here. If you look at some of my back uh, film clips, you'll see that this one had actually uh, swarmed right when robbing started. So it's being robbed and swarmed. I don't think it's going to make it because there's a small queen in there. She was laying eggs, but there's probably only half frame of brood in there. The bees are just kind of coming out, checking things out. But the reason I left it wrapped up in there, this hive with only half a frame of bees in, is because it's in a four-pack situation. Yeah, look at these things. I just hit them with oxalic here one last time, about four days ago. They're just... Bean bees. Hello, hello. Do you have any candy cane? How was Thanksgiving? You didn't bring me any turkey. Constantly complaining. And the one standalone hive. You're kind of coming and going. These two are fine. We'll see what happens though, because I swear to goodness that they gave me Italian genetics, so I specifically did not ask for that. And these girls here. They're coming along. I've got to come in here and adjust the entrance a little bit more. These, these ones here will fly out, but they're bundled in there. These girls are going there, having a good old time. So they're all super wrapped. And again, this is the black saran wrap that we made the uh, fence out of. So, all 10 or 12 hives here at the cabin are just, they're put down and in for bed. Now it's going to go back down to cold temperatures, so this is literally their last flying day. But anyways, I want to show how to do a windbreak. Just something incredibly simple to do. Cheap, easy, not including pounding these stakes in here. I think it took me maybe five minutes to put up these. I've got one over there too, but... So anyways, there we go. Still got the tough side on there. Damn pineapples are still coming down from the pineapple tree. Got one down there. Didn't seem to dent the upper top. So, anyways, hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. And, yeah, how to windbreak your yard. Last flight of the winter for the bees. Although they'll come out when it's sunny and 20 degrees. You know, fly out and poop. Fly out and die. But that's bees. Fun as they are. Okay, well, as usual, God bless. Bless you and your bees. And uh, I don't, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming in what? Three weeks? Three and a half, four weeks. Oh well. Take care. Bye bye.